Hello everyone and welcome back to Mass Effect 3. In the last session we headed down to Tuchanka for some side missions and uh, discovered that there is a bomb down there. Uh, with this side mission, the Turian team that crashed on Tuchanka was trying to prevent Cerberus from detonating a bomb that would cause massive casualties on the planet. Land on Tuchanka and help the Turian platoon stop Cerberus. So, that is what we are going to do today. We are already there. Uh, this one, this new one over here. City ruins locate bomb. Sounds pretty good to me. Right. Uh, well, obviously we're taking Garrus because it's Turian related. And who did we take last time? Was it Javik we took last time? Shall we take Liara this time? Let's take Liara and let's put her back in the red outfit. Sounds good. Right, uh, I think everyone's guns are fine, right? Probably. Uh, four points. What do I want to do with it? Um, I think I was saving up for maximum incendiary, right? So we need one more level for that. Uh, Garrus, you've got five. What should we put that into for you? Should we put that into your concussive? Or No, actually, we were looking to max out the mine. Actually, no. What was the final thing of the mine? Oh yeah, just increased damage. Let's let's wait to do that. Uh, and Liara, we maxed out your singularity stasis. Eh, maybe warp. Let's let's put points into warp. Increased damage or increased force damage and impact radius of combo detonations. Huh. Huh. Now the question is, does that apply? to me detonating her shit? Or does that only apply to her detonating shit? I actually don't know. It could be either with that phrasing. Increase force, damage and impact radius of combo detonations by 50%. That could be exclusive to her, it could be for the whole team, it could only be if she's the one doing the detonating. It could be if her stuff gets detonated, but not if it's just like me and Garrus working together, or it could be for everyone, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, that's a tricky one. That is a tricky one, because I have no way of knowing. I'm not going to Google it because I don't want to risk googling something and seeing something else that I don't want to see. <laughs> like, you never know when you try and google a mechanic and it, like, first result is, hey, here's some spoilers or whatever, like, so. Uh, hmm. But, like, being, having 30% increased damage on the warp could be pretty good for the armor stripping. Although, actually, looking at that damage, it's only going from 400 to 475. So, actually, I probably don't really care about that, because it is only 75 more. So I think we'll go with this, even though I'm not entirely sure whether it'll work with... Like, because I, 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 the way I hope it works is it applies to her singularity, and then I charge in and detonate the singularity like I've been doing, and then that's all good. But it might specifically, like, because it is a warp-specific upgrade... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it won't work like that, but whatever, whatever. Let's just get it, and uh, we can cry about it later if it doesn't work that way. But no way of really knowing from that, unfortunately. It's kind of not super clear. Um, and that was it, right? Yes, that is it. Okie dokie. Let's head on down. Normandy shuttle. This is Lieutenant Victus with the 9th Platoon. Do you copy? I copy. We hear you, 9th Platoon. We're approaching the bomb site, Commander. Getting bounced around pretty bad. This is as close as we get, Lieutenant. Look for somewhere to set your platoon down. Copy that. Talk to me about this Cerberus bomb. It's not Cerberus, Commander. It's... Turian. You what? What do you mean, Turian? It was planted centuries ago. After the Krogan rebellions. The bomb was a safeguard against another galactic war. For fuck's sake. Brutal, but it makes a certain kind of sense. They but planted the it after the Krogan rebellions? So after they'd already genophaged them? They already genophaged them, fucked them up hard, and then they planted a fucking massive bomb on the planet? 
You won't earn trust with tactics like that. Fucking idiots, but man. right now, we focus on disarming that bomb. Yes, but Cerberus found it. Detonation means all-out war between my people and the Krogan. Right. Where is it? Those buildings ahead. Cerberus brought equipment to dig it up. The ninth platoon will cover your flank, Commander. With all this activity, the Krogan have to know something's up. Then we can't fail, Commander. Copy that, Lieutenant. Fucking morons everywhere. I can't believe the Krogan wouldn't be happy with us putting a bomb on their planet. Hello. Nice fucking sword, mate. Shame that it just got fucked up. Okay. This is pretty cool. I'm liking the explosions going off everywhere, that's for sure. How is my how's my guys doing? Where even are they? There's Garrus. Okay. Uh hello friend. Wasn't there a guy behind me? I could have sworn there was a guy behind me. Shepard, we need to keep moving. Yeah, that's probably a good shout. Although, I am going to just take a quick moment to scout around. Never know what you'll find. Anything hidden over here? Maybe, maybe not. Shepard, we need to keep moving. No, not getting, uh, not getting the impression there's anything to find around here. Yeah, oh, it's a zoomy boy. Shotgun blade attachment. Alrighty. Oh, I didn't turn on my shit. Uh. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. The R is smart enough to turn on her shit. That's good. That's actually quite impressive. I'm surprised. Wait, did I click this? There we go. Uh, right. Hello. a lot of people. Whoa, that's the wrong button. That is not the button I was looking for. But it wasn't desperate times because it, they said it happened after. It's monstrous. Yeah. They said it, they said it happened after, uh, the rebellions. So, the desperate times were over. Because <laughs> you'd already fucked them up. That is some big time coping from Garrus there. Huge fucking inhales on the copium. Good work, Lieutenant. Honestly, can't tell if that is making a bigger explosion or not. It didn't seem like that was a bigger explosion, if I'm being honest. Can't say it felt like that was a particularly big boom. Copy that. The fuck is that? It's the bomb! Boom! <laughs> and Shepard died. I don't like the sound.
sound of that. That felt pretty meaty. Is there still someone? Oh. God, it's so satisfying when the bang does go off. Right away. So satisfying. Fuck me. Ooh, love that. What is this? He must have been far enough underground to stay hidden. Wait, Cerberus that's the bomb? That's fucking enormous, what? We won't get a second chance. We gotta move, Shepard. I thought that was the thing digging out the bomb. Wait, no, the bomb's over there. Wait, it it told me to look at this and then talked about the bomb, so I thought it was saying that was the bomb, but apparently the bomb's over here, so maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> I'm confused. Gimme should be clear. I don't think so. I'm guessing they'll bring out the big guns. Oh boy, that means mecharoos. That means fat atlas boys. Big orbital droppy boys. Hello, you run away. That's fine. Let me just check around for any upgrades. And then I'll catch up later. Like right now. Oh, those turrets, man. Those turrets are scary. Turret control schematics. Looks like control schematics for automated turrets. No good now, but they might be useful later. Sure. I'll take useful later. Oh, journal updated. Oh, cool. Okay. Wait, was that was that a was that a thing I already had, or is that No, that's a new thing. Schematics of service automated turrets were recovered from Tuchanka. Find someone on the Citadel who can use them. Okay. Interesting. It's usually the other way around. Get given the mission the mission and then try and find the thing rather than get the thing and then try and find the person. Hello. Cerberus set up a firewall around the trigger mechanism to slow us down. I need to create a bypass. That'll take time. But like you said, no trigger, no explosion. Are you sure you can disarm the trigger? Yes, it's old tech. I know what to do. Buy me a few minutes, Commander. We'll make sure you have the time you need, Lieutenant. Understood. Starting bypass. And thank you for making sure I get this chance. You Just welcome. make it right, soldier. Oh, dear. <laughs> They should have shot. Oh my God, Victor's maybe duck Commander, a little. Focus on the bomb. We'll handle Cerberus. Man, that sniper, like he went. Let's take out the two that aren't doing the fucking bomb defusal. I feel like that was the wrong target. Nobody gets past. Taking fire. Clear. Clear. Boop. Here come reinforcements. That was pretty good. Here they come. They're coming up. Ho oh, ho ho ho! Get fucked on, you bitch! <laughs> Oh, that's good. Oh, right, they're in the smoke, so I can't target them for singularity. Makes sense. Fuck! Shepard, 
Not me forgetting what buttons roll. Oh, shit! Hello! Okay, what do we have? What do we have? Why are you not using your sniper? Uh... Okay. Well, it's shields, so let's overload it. Uh... Right, we just need to get that last bit of shields down and then you can, uh, warp it. I don't have anything that helps with shields, do I? No. Okay, there we go. Now warp that sucker. Now Garrus, proximity mine it. And I can't do this because it's protected by armor. Yeah. Nice, good job. Good fucking job. Oh shit. That is when Nova is pretty fucking good, huh? I haven't been using it as much recently, but that was oh, mwah. Commander, firewall's down. I'm in. Spirits, Cerberus hacked the trigger mechanism. It's set to detonate. Disarm it. No time. Wow, Victus is feeling pretty triggered. Hey. <laughs> Oh no, are we suddenly getting heroic sacrifice vibes from Victus? Like, make up for my mistake. Take this thing out, but I'm gonna go down with it kind of thing. Damn, we totally are, aren't we? Or maybe not. I'm going to swallow the bomb, Shepard! <laughs> Nothing will go wrong that way. What are you doing, my dude? We must be down to what, like 20 seconds now? I'm, I'm still getting heroic sacrifice vibes. See, he was right. He was pulling the explosive out. I was like, but it's a fucking huge bomb. I thought it was going to like rip the fucking earth apart or some shit. Like, what does throwing it back underground do? But he was throwing away the explosives that were going to set off the actual main bomb. I get it. Okay. Well in, lad. Oh, shit. We've got to talk to his dad. Oh, fuck. Sounds like they started sweeping out the remaining Cerberus troops. Hate to be the guy who told the Krogan about that surprise package. Did you get out all right? Sounds like it got ugly down there. The Turians took a lot of casualties, Joker. The Primarch's son included. Understood, Commander. Joker out. Who oh boy. He never hesitated. Whatever he was before, he'll be remembered for this. What will the Turians think about this, Garrus? Hard to say. Sacrifice him more as expected. He did us proud, but... We're a hard bunch to please. Living your life for the cause. Society first, platoon first. It's all just expected. He did what he had to do when it counted. Yes. Yes, he did. Well, glad we brought Garrus. Good work on Tachunka, Commander. Stopping that bomb prevented the war between the Turians and the Krogan. We can't afford that kind of division right now. Joker said the Krogan are recovering the bomb. They moved in. Won't allow Turians to send in recovery crews to help. <laughs> Understandable. Yeah, I was going to say. Oh, yeah, let's let the people that planted a fucking nuke on our planet. Let's just let them come take it back. No. We don't have a solid alliance between those two yet. Keep the peace, Commander. That's an order. Yes, sir. 
Doing my best, man. Get out. We couldn't risk another galactic war with the Krogan. The Genophage wasn't enough? You had to plant a bomb on my planet? The decision was made hundreds of years ago. So much has changed. Not enough to tell us about the bomb, coward. Hey! Yeah, I mean, I'm entirely with Rex on that one. We can't let the past rip us apart. Working together, we have a chance. Primarch, you had a bomb on Tachanka. And Rex, in the Turian's place, you would have done the same damn thing. Shepard. It's over. His own son died today, making this right. Damn, that's an angry Please, Shepard Commander. face. It's all right. I've never seen Shepard look so angry. Yes, fine. Shepard, you made your point. We have stronger enemies to face. We do. <sighs> I understand your reservations before, Commander. But I hope you now understand the secrecy. Secrets get people killed. You've learned that the hard way. Yes. The hardest lesson I'm ever to learn, Commander. He seems less cut up about his son than I was expecting. Like, I don't know, I wasn't expecting, like, tears from a Jurian, but... He doesn't seem particularly phased. He died with the respect of his men. I wanted to thank you for that. His sacrifice will be recorded in the histories of the Ninth Platoon. Something any father would be proud of. Yes, sir. Like, I guess maybe Turians are just more used to their family dying in war, because that's just, like, a more common thing, I suppose? So he was, like, already kind of expecting that might happen, possibly? I don't know. I just, I thought he was going to be a bit more, like, seeming sad about it. Uh, what have we got new? Turian. The threat of Turian firepower once kept entire armies in check. Now the hierarchy's vast fleets and numerous soldiers are needed to win the largest war in galactic history. Uh, oh, did we already read that one? I guess we did. Turian Blackwatch, a team of exceptionally skilled special ops soldiers. Blackwatch is sent on missions that threaten the safety of Palaven itself. It was pulled from the homeworld by order of Primarch Adrian Victus, who wanted to mobilize this elite force in less hopeless situations across the galaxy. The majority of Blackwatch's operations are classified, although it's generally accepted that they have the highest success rate of any Turian unit in history. There are rumours that Saren Arterius was part of Blackwatch before becoming a Spectre, although, given his youth when he joined the Turian army, it seems highly unlikely. Well, you never know. If he was that good at his job. <laughs> Might have just been like, yeah, got on the team, mate. Anything else for you to say? Again, Commander, thank you for ensuring my son died with honour. It's all a Turian father can hope for. But this is war. The time for mourning is later. Is there something you need? I don't know, man. It's not like you're doing anything right now. <laughs> I feel like the time for mourning the death of your own child <laughs> is is now. I don't know. I don't know. This is new, right? Despite everything, Primarch, I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you, Commander. And I know I'm not the first to lose their son to this war. Needless to say, I'm committed to stopping the Reapers. Can't believe he, he Shepard opened that with, despite everything. I'm sorry for your loss of your son. I feel like you could lose the despite everything. Just be like, I'm sorry for your loss. You don't need to, you don't need to hit him with that, you know. As in like, <laughs> he was shit, but <laughs> he fucked up before now, but I don't know. That's all. Of course, Commander. I feel like if someone was mourning their dead child, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be like giving it a, a fucking like clarification before I offer my condolences. The Turians pull another move like that, Shepard, and this alliance is off. But just bear with me, Rex. This is hard for all of us. To be fair, that is a move I've they pulled like a thousand planet. years ago. A bomb but still. that almost blew up my planet, and if those two fail, the genophage to make sure we all go extinct anyway. I don't want to hear about who has it hard. Understood. Good. Now, is there something you need? Nothing new for Rex. That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Anytime.
Right, let's see what everyone else has to say. I had a buddy who got discharged. Category 6 after Eden Prime. That six? Damn. Well, if I'd been on Eden Prime, I'd have lost it too. He fought it, said he was still fit for duty. Last thing he told me was that he was joining Cerberus. Blech! Unread messages at your private terminal, Commander. I heard what Victor's did. He was a brave man. I don't think I could... Uh, there I go again. I was going to say that I could never do that. But? But I was wrong. Being here, watching you, you've shown me what it means to serve in the Alliance. You're a good officer, trainer. Glad you finally realize it. Thanks. Not that I'm volunteering for bomb jump duty. I'd suggest sending someone who has armor first, if <laughs> possible. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Commander? What have we got on the old email then? Thank you. From Jessica Frome. Dear Commander Shepard, my name is Jessica Frome. You saved my life on Benning. I've lost so many friends and all this, but I find hope in the idea that their memory lives on in me. I know I'm just one woman, but I wanted to let you know you're making a real difference. Bless you, Commander. Jessica Frome. Nice. Oh, jokester. You gotta love the Turians. After they beat you down and sterilize you, they strap a big old bomb to your planet. You know, just in case you get uppity again someday. Yeah, you sure I'm just glad got we to love that. Damn right. Krogan are pretty tough. I'd rather it be Reaper asses getting kicked and not ours. Commander? What's new, Edie? Admiral Anderson reports that the Reapers on Earth are broadcasting orders. They are demanding human leaders into their superstructures in order to negotiate peace. <laughs> Anybody aboard a Reaper is going to be indoctrinated. <sighs> exactly. This is a ruse to pacify the populace during that process. Citizens who are busy waiting are not busy fighting. It is likely that the governments of Earth will soon enact laws punishing those who attack the Reaper occupiers. Fuck's sake. Again, this will be done in the name of peace. Tell Anderson we're moving as fast as we can. That's crazy. That's crazy. Hello, Shepard. That implies the world leaders are accepting the offer as well. Fucking massive fuck off spaceships drop out of orbit. Spaceships that we've been warning about for a while drop out of orbit, start fucking massacring millions. And then they go, oh, it just, you know, send your world leaders up to us. And that implies they were like, yeah, that's a good idea. Peace talks. That's something that's going to happen. Because, you know, it's a pretty even fight at the moment. The Reapers have every reason to want to enter peace talks. It's not like they're just fucking winning with ease or anything. It makes perfect sense that they'd want to, you know, try and come to an amicable solution to their invasion and destruction of the planet. Hmm. What fucking morons in charge are actually accepting that? That's crazy. Commander. Jackwas. Nothing. There's nothing there. Will this room ever have a purpose? Who knows? Find out, maybe never. It'd be really funny if one time we opened that door and Garrus is just stood there facing away from us taking a slash. Hello, Liara. The Krogan are gearing up for a full-scale war. It's nearly indistinguishable from how they normally operate on Tachanka, really. Feel free to look around. The Turians actually have dicks? Who knows? Who knows? I just made that joke about he's going to the loo and then I'm like, wait, hang on, I don't actually even know. Oh, fuck. Feel free to look around. Hello, Garrus. I'll assume you didn't know about this. My good friend wouldn't hide the fact that his people planted a doomsday bomb on my planet, right? Rex, I was just as much in the dark as you. Honest. <laughs> That's what I needed to hear. Just making you sweat, Garrus. Wasn't sure you could. You're always so calm. 
I'd be happy to give Krogan some lessons on relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> and we'd be happy to feed you to a thresher maw. Rick's out. And next time, Shepard, don't let him near the intercom. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? I don't know what Turian came up with the idea, but a doomsday bomb was damned ingenious. Darius, don't make me mad at it's you. Embarrassing now, but ingenious back then. I don't think it was ingenious back then either. I'm glad Rex is taking this so well. My people haven't exactly treated his kind with charity over the years. That is certainly one way of putting it. Haven't exactly treated them with charity. No, <laughs> you uh, you genocided Not them. Right now. A little, little bit of a little bit of a gap between haven't been charitable and actively fucked them so hard. <laughs> Shepard, Eve, ready for a travel to Tuchanka? Nothing new. No. Nice talking with you. We'll be here, continuing to. And presumably nothing new with you either. No. It's my pleasure. I think we just We decided last time, actually. I think that we weren't going to do any. Uh, well, I'm going to check them anymore because it seems like they won't have anything to say until after the mission. Javik! Your people would have made a good addition to our empire, Durian. Of course he's in favour. Uh -huh. And by addition, do you mean slave race? Subservient race. Slave race. Right. Calling it that makes all the difference. But you did not go far enough. Either you should have detonated the bomb on the Fuck sake. World. Or used it as leverage. I think we were just trying to guarantee peace. A static mode of existence. Nothing changes. Nothing struggles. Nothing grows. On the upside, we all get to live another day. Nice chatting. <laughs> yes, Garrus. Fucking say your line and then end the conversation. We love to see it. There is some enjoyment in speaking to this Turian. His knowledge of war is formidable. Though he would be an even better marksman if he had four eyes. <laughs> Back when the Krogan rebelled, I would have detonated a bomb that day. There was no need for the genophage. Man, Javik has some fucking terrible takes. Yes. yes. And the whole Prothean species seems like they were fucking awful. I'm very surprised. Gabi, have you ever seen recordings of Liara's mother, Matriarch Venezia? Yes, what about her? And remember Samara, the Asari Justica? Where are you going with this, Kenneth? Have you noticed that older Asari women seem to be a bit more ample? Do you think they just keep growing? Kenneth! <laughs> I think I'll spend my sunset days in an Asari retirement. <laughs> if I don't kill you first. Do it. Shepard. <laughs> Nothing to report. Fucking pin him down. That thermal pipe yet? Get him with a knife. Scare him a bit. Don't actually do it, but you know. Right now, the Arcturus station destroyed, and the Alliance Parliament feared dead. Why wow, you sound but cheery? Admiral Stephen Hackett says the fleets can regroup. We'll hear it from him right here <laughs> in the battle space. She sounds way too happy about that. Hey gang, calamitous destruction, and more coming up soon. Commander. And last but not least... That last job on Tachanka was intense. I tried providing air support, but the sky was so full of Cerberus, it was like someone kicked a hornet's nest. Is everything okay, Shepard? Everything is in order. Uh, cool. Too bad about Tarquin. I was starting to like him. Did you ever meet him? Tarquin was the son, right? I, I don't think you ever met Tarquin, did you? Hey. Hmm. <laughs> Bold of the game to assume I brought him on my missions. Oh dear. Cool, 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 cool. Bit. Right. So, next up, we have 
Uh, N7 Cerberus attack. Cerberus has taken control of an old military installation on Tuchanka for unknown reasons. Land on Tuchanka and neutralize whatever operation Cerberus has in the area. Let's do that. Uh, this one. Do, do, do. Uh... Okay, well, we took Garrus and Yara. Let's take Edie and Javik. I should have taken James on this one, actually, because it's a side mission that is going to have, like, no impact on anything, probably. Probably. Uh, so I probably should have taken him there. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, right, I can now max out my incendiaries. Boom. That is going to be good. We have got four things maxed out. Very, very nice. Uh, I think we were maxing out your overload, right? What did we go for here? Damage increase? Yeah. Uh, recharge speed up? Sure. And lift grenade. Increase grenade capacity by two. Lovely jubbly. Lovely jubbly. Well, that was weird. It, like, put us in and then dropped us back in the cutscene. Do we know what Cerberus is up to? No, but we do know that Cerberus doesn't act without a plan. Presumably trying to get this cannon for some reason. Find out what they're up to while you're at it. We'll get it done. See to it. Pack it out. Damn, Cerberus are trying to take this facility with this massive thing here. I wonder what they could want. Get on it. Whatever it is, it's bad. Let's find the control room for those cannons. Kill anything in our way. This I can do. Uh Yeah, we want a dark channel for you and incinerate for you. That's all good. Get your screen shake out. Bit of junk. Oh, hi. Keep track of it, Lieutenant. On it. So wait, that's the way to go, it looks like. So what's down that ladder on the left? Nice ladder. Enjoy your death. Oh, did the ladder just lead down to here anyway? Yes, okay. Now, I think these kind of missions usually do have stuff like side mission related on it, right? So we should probably be fairly thorough. Like this, for example, although that's no, that's just armor. Control center secure. Then I think it's time to test this can. Control console. Anything else? Something else? Old grid schematics? Not the kind of Krogan relic I expected to find. I guess that was for something? It weirds me out when it doesn't come up on the right. They cut power to the console. You need to get the power back on. Let's move. I like to move it, move it. We like to move it, move it. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. 
Oh shit. Right, that doesn't affect them. Good to know. Wait, really? It doesn't. Eh? That's shields. The overload should have affected it. Was that just bugged? Fucking yeet. Nice grenade. Shame I'm next to you, hey? 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 Fucking stay down. What was that? Okay, we good? That everyone? Hey. Hello! Sabarus! Ah. I see. I knew that. I was I was just testing. Did you guys remember that that's what we had to do? <coughs> really? Got to be that accurate, huh? Okay. Shepard, there's more Cerberus coming in. Probably. No? Wait, didn't I just do that? Oh, did I walk away too soon? I guess you have to stay near it. I thought it was just press the button and you're good. We're cutting your course, Commander. I've rerouted the power to the main console. Heading back now. Shepard, we've got more Cerberus inbound. I really wish that would stagger them. Nice smoke grenade. Shame I fucking saw your outline and flew through it anyway. Get fucked. Easy, mate. Never in doubt. Fuck you. Cannon control restored. Targeting enabled. Coordinates, Lieutenant. Uploaded. Firing. Good work, everyone. I'll take it. Alright, that was a very short little one. Shepard, with those Krogan cannons operational, Cerberus has actually given us the advantage in that system. The enemy's pulling back, but we think they'll try to seize the facility again. Seems likely. I'm sending an Alliance team to keep it secure. They've got a foothold in a strong defensive position, thanks to you. Glad to hear it. Good work, Commander. Hack it out. Let me guess, I'm sending an Alliance team to keep it secure as a reference to the multiplayer? I would assume. The Alliance team is you in multiplayer. I think that's what that means. What have we got? Krogan 1st Division. The Krogan 1st Division is a conglomeration of infantry and vehicles hastily organized into a single coalition force. The chain of command is divided by clan, with representatives from each serving as officers. Despite ancient differences, fighting the Reapers together is building a spirit of camaraderie among the Division's warriors. Krogan from different clans are starting to swap equipment, stories, and even the occasional barrel of wrinkle. Yes, Commander. That's all. Of course, Commander. Nothing new. Surely there'll be something new with you. Need something, Shepard? There sure isn't. Oh, Sarah, about your buddy, the one who joined Cerberus. 
Maybe he's dead. Wow, I cut ties. Reported him for whatever good that did. No way I want that crap on my record. Fair enough. Commander. No new emails. Speedy boy Shepherd moves down the room. Commander. Auxiliary power units are depleted to 82.04% capacity. This should be corrected. Yeah, I'll get it before we go in atmosphere again. I will run a diagnostic on it. Edie, we've got five of them. According to the diagnostic, we now have four. Hello, Shepard. Hello. Okay. And around the ship we go again. Fast as our little legs will carry us. Nothing in here. Commander. She's probably never going to speak to us again. L L Liara. L L Liara. A pleasure to see you. Hello again. Well. G G G G G G G G G G G G G G G G G Garrus. Good to see you. Wow. It is fucking sad times on the Normandy today. Shepard's going around looking for chats, looking for companionship, looking for some friends. To natter with. Everyone's just like, yeah, Shepard. It's good to see you, dude. Yeah. Yeah, all right. <laughs> How do you see oh. with only two eyes? Evolution has taken a strange turn in this cycle. Your Joker pilot insists I call myself Prothe the Prothean. <laughs> I insisted he allow me to throw him out the airlock. Prothy. That's your new name, Javik. Commander. Prothy. Kenneth, have you seen the new poker table up in the lounge? It's going to waste. Well, I was thinking of inviting to Sony a trainer up for a wee game of strip poker. Right. You're not going to invite that reporter, Allers, too? Nah, she bring cameras and record the whole thing. And if you lose, you don't want the whole galaxy knowing how little you bring to the table. Oh, ah, girl, my bag roll is just fine. Oh, oh, fatality! Absolute fatality! Oh man, I'm so sorry, but you're gonna have to leave the ship now. <laughs> Can't have you around after Come you've on. just suffered such a such a tremendous defeat. That was, uh, whoof! Whoa! Jesus! Commander. Jesus. Gonna hear him fucking sobbing in his cabin later tonight. Wish you could have seen that gun on Tachanka first hand. I cut the auditory emulators and watched that Cerberus cruiser gracefully and silently disintegrate. Beautiful. Sometimes I worry about you, man. <laughs> I appreciate you checking in on me, sir. Fucking beautiful, mate. Do you hear that hum? Is I that sure don't. Me? That's just you. You're losing your shit, man. Alrighty. Well, that is where we'll end it for today. So, what have we got left? Uh. That's just handing something in. That is DLC. Uh, we did that, I think. We haven't done that because we don't know who to hand it into, but we've picked it up. DLC. Uh, find something on the Citadel. Uh, hand in at the Citadel. Uh, did we do that? I can't remember if we did that one. Uh, the impossible to fucking complete one. How I hate it so. Uh... 
I don't think we've done this. I don't think we can do this yet. And then to Chunker. Ah, so we're actually out of side quests. So it's probably going to be next time Citadel part. Might be a bit shorter than usual. Because uh, then it's a priority mission, uh, which I don't... Hmm. I probably should have left one of those side missions. I thought there was I thought there was another like actual side mission to do, but I guess not. So I don't really want to start priority to Junker uh, like in the middle of a part. And I imagine it'll take a fair bit to hand this in. So it might be a shorter part next time uh, as we just go around the Citadel handing stuff in and doing all that jazz. Uh, and then the time after that will be priority to Chunker. That is the plan. Cool, cool. Exciting times. Hope you're enjoying. If you are, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around. Share the playlist around. If you can, I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time for more Mass Effect 3. Thanks for watching. See you then.